So that's what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. Is that him? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. Well today we are in Wheeling, West Virginia. It's our first time here and we are at Sibs. S-I-B apostrophe S. Possessive. We are at Sibs. I've never been here before, but I had posted the other day on Instagram that we were in St. Clairsville, and there were a lot of viewers that commented that we should check out Sibs. So, here we are. We're about to head in and ask for permission to film. Hopefully it is granted, and uh, we'll do a little filming here. Check it out, see what we can find that we can buy, and flip for a profit. So here we go. Touch lamps. Those are the best kind. So that's what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. Is that him? That's that's Jimmy Hoffa. Like they poured him into concrete and that's what's left of him. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> kitty kitty. Huh? Oh my goodness, did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. Can I pet you? Are you sweet? Oh my goodness, look at you. I don't know, you might want to go check. Oh, these dancing frogs are delightful. <laughs> I think Selena, the vintage bombshell, has these frogs. I'm pretty sure she does. I think I've seen them either on her Instagram or in her videos. Those are really neat. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. Look at the it's the pair. The pair for a 275. I don't think I've ever seen them that big before. It's pretty massive. And to be in that condition, like they're not even damaged. It's always the beaks. The beaks are always the watch the tail. Oh, if you're gonna pick it up, watch the tail. I see. <gasps> yeah, two hands, two hands. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> that is like the most magnificent Murano. <laughs> is that not amazing? that where it was sheared off. Yeah. What was that manufacturing there? It's a really nice piece. Christmas 1916. I love the design on that. That's really pretty. Jean Poyat, Limoges, France. Fifteen dollars. Mm. I mean, I kind of like it. I would drink out of that. You know what? I might drink out of that. I might buy that and use it. I need a new mug. The shape of West Virginia. So this was made here in West Virginia. I'm going to wager. And I wonder if that means Fenton. There was a lot of glass companies in West Virginia. Signed. Oh. What is it signed? Can't make it up. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't it? The hmm. They want 22 for it, and I love the color. And the blue and gold is West Virginia colors. Yeah. That's a look at it. Murano Exotic Bird Collection. That is a beautiful bird with that silver flake. Um, it looks like $99 on that. So that's a little steep for us to buy and flip for a profit. But it is a beautiful bird. I love it so much. Got some really nice Franciscan Desert Rose. Okay, 
that paperweight didn't have that maiden child. You just got bottle? Dispensary bottle. This is later. These are like 1880s, 1890s. Was it Doug? Is that why it's? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's the uh, uh, mineralization from being in the ground. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check that. I'm not familiar with the pricing on the South Carolina dispensary bottles, but I know there's a market for them. Yeah. And I know they're popular, so this could be a good bottle, so I'm going to have to check this one out. Looks German. Anyway. Well, German it's doggies. Blink in it. What dogs? Kind of sweet. That's a nice crazy quilt. Unfortunately, there's so some, some bleeding. bleeding yeah, yeah, somebody washed it. Bleeding. That's a shame. This is why I use the shout color catchers. <laughs> those are really nice. I like those. Twelve dollars. That piece is only twelve bucks. Oh, of course. Fun sponge. Thank you. <laughs> I do really like this. I mean, I, the, the price on it's pretty high, but I do like this. Oh, I know. Antique Asian doll. That, the clothes are really, really neat. I know. My problem is I can just never tell which ones are oh, old and which ones and are, which ones are reproductions. Yeah. And that one's I priced like, at like one twenty-five. She is really neat. Look at all the little figurines on the shelf. We love figurines. Let's check them out. The overload from the event this weekend. Yeah, oh definitely. Just everything. It's like, oh my god, more stuff to look more at. More stuff to look at. And then focusing on any particular thing is just a challenge. There are a lot of boxers on this shelf. Are they all boxers? I see a German Shepherd up here. But for the most part, they're all boxers. Down there, there's different breeds. There's a Scotty up there. Yeah. Yeah, they got different There's a lot of boxers. There. A lot of boxers. Very sweet little boxers. I kind of like this guy right here. I don't see a price on him though. Of course I picked the one that doesn't have a price on it. I wonder if um, that's his price right there or if that belonged to the planter. Yeah, the planter doesn't have a price either, so I don't know if the $10 belongs to him or this figurine, unfortunately. I do really like him. I'm just not sure. Vintage handmade ceramic vase. I really like the glaze on that. I kind of wonder if it's hobbyist glaze. Oh, it is. Look. Mary something 1978. Sorry for those uh, flickering lights. I guess they are flickering. I can really see them through the viewer. So I apologize for anyone who is sensitive to that. Um, over here, I noticed this piece. $24 for this metal duck. I really liked it. I thought it was interesting. I don't know if this is like a souvenir piece. I don't know for 24. I don't know for 24. I'm like back and forth. I may comp this out and see what I can find. Alright, so I tried looking this up on eBay and I couldn't find anything like it, so. I don't know, I'll grab it. I'll just, you know what, 24, 
worst case scenario, I'll break even, but it's a really interesting piece and not one I've seen before, so it's a little sharp, <laughs> a little sharp on the fingers, but I like it. I was just noticing this. I wonder if it's $35 for the set for the earrings and the beautiful Millefiore necklace. That would be wonderful. These Kokeshis look like they've got some age. Only $8 on the Kokeshis. So I think we need to get a key to get it in here, but it might be worth it on our way back down. If I remember. <laughs> Well, now we are upstairs. We are competing with this fan unit, so I do apologize if there's some feedback. I know it bothers some people, but we're just gonna make do. I mean, we can't really do anything about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at those little bunnies right there. They're so sweet. I wonder if those are bunnies of happiness. Blue Bunnies, Byron Hicks, 1991, $29. I don't think I've ever seen the bunnies before. They are super sweet. All right, I set it back down and then I paused to look up comps because I have never seen the bunnies before. My understanding is that Byron Hanks did a lot of the Bluebirds of Happiness, and Ron Ray was the other one doing the Bluebirds of Happiness. So I looked these up. They are $29. It's signed on the bottom, Byron Hanks, 1991. Because I've never seen the bunnies before. And because when I looked them up, I only found one other bunny. A single, not two. I'm going to buy it. Bunnies of happiness. There you go. So this booth here has a lot of Asian stuff here. I was noticing in the back, I'm gonna very carefully move this. It looks like, unfortunately, someone may have broken that. Move this out. Not suitable for food. So that's more modern than I would like. Twelve dollars. It's cloisonne. That might even be an older cloisonne. Unfortunately, you can see there is damage on the edge, which is kind of a shame. So, if there wasn't damage, I would consider it. These two little kokeshis here. Four dollars for the pair. They look like they have some age just by the wear on them. So I might grab those for $4. I have a thing with Kokeshi's. This right here looks like it could be Talavera pottery. Let's check it out. What does the bottom say? Mexico, it is Talavera pottery. It's only $18. We do pretty well with Talavera pottery, so. I think this is gonna come with us as well. There is a lot of glass. Oh look, and there's a door open. How wonderful, letting some fresh air in. Lots of blow molds. I usually walk right by the blow molds. But here is a lot of glass. So we're gonna scan over the glass real quick. That's <laughs> aloe vera, Mexico. Four dollars. I wish we had a matchy match. We don't, but I love the sunflower on it. So we'll take that with us. This is a nice graduated candlestick. It's Hager, of course. Of course, of course. Twelve dollars for that. I like the glaze on that. That's a nice piece as well. You know what? We are running out of hands, believe it or not. Now that's hard to believe. I can usually manage quite a few things. Um, let's see what this is. Just MS, but I love the faceted look of that. 
find that interesting. All right, let's go around the corner after admiring this witch. One thing I noticed as I was walking into the glass booth was the hound dog. Here he is. It's a bow wow. Eight dollars. We had one of these hound dogs not too long ago. Did pretty well with it, so we'll buy another one. All right, I don't believe that this is Talavera, but it is Mexican pottery. Look at us cleaning up on the Mexican pottery. Let's see how much it is. $22. But you know, I saw a post today from an interior designer and he had his um, sun porch and he had these Mex he had two Mexican pottery fish on his sun porch table. Uh, and I just thought, oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that so cool that he's using vintage Mexican fish in his decor. So now here, what are the chances that I come across one today? So I think I'm gonna buy it. Well, that right there is a beautiful mid-century lamp. Hi, I love. Hi, I found you. No, I found you. Here, can you take my camera real quick? <laughs> this is literally how I've been walking around filming. That's crazy. With the camera. Sorry, I had a customer on the phone I was trying to take care of. It's okay, I've managed just like this while filming. Well, that's and nice. nobody knew. Nobody will know. They're gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Usually this is the point where Dagny's like, please let me hold those things so you don't break any of them. All right, well, I can run them downstairs. That'd be delightful. I don't know how you wanna. I can run them down. Look at all the beautiful things I found. Remember I told you- Blue bunnies of I happiness? I told you, yes. I've never seen bunnies before. Cool. I remember I told you that designer had those fish on his table this morning? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Right? So. Cleaning up on the Mexican pottery. Cool. Alright. Before you walked up, I was actually um, focusing in on that $45 lamp. Then I was thinking, do we really need another lamp? Uh, Probably not. I think we I have enough. Think we have Okay, whatever that means. We have enough, basically, is what he's saying. All right, I'm just about ready. To, if you if you just help me carry stuff, I think we can manage the rest of the upstairs. This piece is interesting. I don't know whose water that is. It just appeared here. It's Italy. Twelve dollars, Italy. Rooster plate. Thoughts. I um, don't know. No. Uh, it's, you, 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 oh wow, you managed all of that. I'm impressed. Twenty-five dollars for the set of the chess glasses. I mean, the box itself is pretty moldy, though. I don't know if that would benefit it or. That's dust. That's not mold. That's dust. I don't know. What is this? Does it say Port Marion? I can't read it. It says Botanic Gardens. Yes, Port Marion. Yes. Can you turn it over and see what the price is? Twelve dollars. Yes, please. I will take it. Okay. Thank you. That too. Yes. Oh wait, look. There's another one hundred. I literally took it off of this one. Twenty-eight dollars. This is another. Yes. No, wait. This is different. No, it still says Port Marion. That's some good stuff right there. Now we need to find the canisters. All right, well, I looked through here really hard, and I did not find any Port Marion canisters. That's what I was hoping to find, so unfortunately, none to be found here. But we looked, and that's what matters. I was walking by and noticed this. It doesn't have a price on it, though. There is some chipping there. That's kind of crazy. I'm not really sure exactly 
purpose. After all that to chat about it, I, I think that's, that one is too cracked. So I think I'm gonna pass. It's a really neat piece, but because the lucite is too cracked, I'm gonna pass on. All right, so that concludes our time here at Sibs in Wheeling, West Virginia. Our total spend here was $304 and I feel like we got some really great pieces. I'm excited about that Port Marion. It was kind of hidden there and I wasn't really expecting it. And then I noticed the botanical pattern and I'm like, wait a second, is that Port Marion? And sure enough, it was. So we're getting the boxes loaded here in the truck. We brought 24 empty banana boxes with us. And I think we have two empty banana boxes remaining on this trip. Yeah, I think I got three empties left. Three empties left, so. <laughs> We have to use them sparingly from here on out, but I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat somewhere and um, continue this journey. We'll probably film one or two more videos on our trip home, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to Sibs. If you're in the area, stop by, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna move on down the road, and we will see all of you tomorrow, so on. Before I end this video, I just wanted to let all of you know that I have relaunched the Halloween campaigns from last year. We had two really fun Halloween designs that we used last year for a Halloween campaign, and I have also added a brand new design to our Halloween banana box crazy lamp lady merch line. So these shirts are only available for 10 days and uh, they're only available until October 3rd. They will start shipping on October 12th and you should receive them by October 22nd, just in time for Halloween. So I hope you guys go and check them out. I'm going to include links to all three campaigns down in the description. And uh, as always, I appreciate your support of the channel and I hope you like the designs. Thanks. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.